Jeremy Doku, the dancing winger. The 21-year-old has come into the Premier League and has absolutely taken it by storm. Some of you may have known him since his days in Belgium and France, but many more just came to know him after his move to Manchester City. Well, today we're here to talk about this skillful kid. These are 10 things you didn't know about Jeremy Doku. First of all, we're pretty sure not many of you don't know that Doku could have played for Ghana. Yeah, he really could have if he wanted to. Although born in Belgium, Doku is of Ghanaian descent and could have opted to represent the West African country on the international stage if he wanted to. But we don't think he even gave it much thought. Doku debuted for the Belgian national team at the age of 18 and he has since gone on to represent the European country in the Nations League, Euros and the World Cup. One could say that he's the heir to Hazard's throne on the left wing. That's how good he's proven to be. See, Jeremy Doku is so good that Jurgen Klopp was ready to sign him when he was just 15. Yes, 15 years old. He was still in Andalek's academy at the time, but his talent was so evident that Liverpool wanted to sign him immediately. He and his family were invited to Liverpool, where Klopp reportedly told his father that he saw a lot of similarities between Doku and Sadio Mane, and he would love the Belgian to succeed the Senegalese icon at the club. Of course, the Dokus were tempted, but Andelek wanted to keep him so badly, so what did they do? They called on Romelu Lukaku to intervene. Lukaku graduated from the Andelek Academy before moving to the Premier League, and being someone Doku looked up to and respected, he was the one person that the kid would listen to. So Lukaku got on a video call with Doku and advised him to stay back for a bit and at least graduate from the academy first, Doku listened and he ended up staying back at Andelect until 2020. And you could say that that was good advice and that Doku was smart for taking it. He wouldn't have got into Liverpool's first team in 2017 and that could have derailed his career. But look at him now, dancing every other week at the biggest club in Europe at just 21. He is indeed proving to be so good. And I mean, how would he not be so good when he was born into an athletic family? It's really really in the genes. His older brother is also a footballer, while their father used to be an athlete. He probably got his speed from his father. Speaking of his speed, Doku's quickness earned him a very interesting nickname, the Belgian Flash. We don't even need to explain the nickname, it speaks for itself. And when you watch him on the pitch, you see exactly why he's called that. This nickname was said to have been given to him by talent scouts when he was younger. The guy has really been quick all his life. And honestly, it feels like he didn't exactly choose this life. This life chose him. Would you believe that this guy grew up just minutes away from Royal Antwerp Stadium? Yes, the current Belgian champions. From his home, he could even hear the chants and noise from the fans at the stadium while games were on. He was surely destined to fall in love with the sport. Imagine growing up just minutes away from the home ground of one of the biggest clubs in the country. It must have been super cool for him as a kid. Unsurprised Surprisingly, that kid would soon delve into the sport and would quickly become so good and very valuable. In 2020, he broke a record when he left Belgium to move to France. Liga 1 club Ron signed him for 26 million euros, and that made him the most expensive player in the club's history. He was just 18 years old at the time. Damn, it seems everybody just always knew he was going to be a star. And three years later, Ron made a huge profit after they sold him to Manchester City for 65 million euros. And from his very first day in England, he's been looking like he's worth every penny. Truly valuable fella. And that's not even the most interesting of his records. Remember we told you earlier that he's played at the Nations League, Euros and World Cup with Belgium? Well, at Euro 2020, he was one of Belgium's shining stars at just 19 years of age. He played the quarter-final game against eventual champions Italy, and although the Red Devils lost that game, Doku was exceptional. He won a penalty for his team and even broke a record. He completed eight dribbles in that game, which is a record number for a teenager in the history of the Euros. When we said he could really be the heir to Hazard's throne in the Belgian national team, we weren't joking at all. But even with all he'd done in the Euros and the Liga 1, some still said that he'd struggle in the Premier League. 
Well, it's not looking like he's struggling at all. In fact, just eight games in and this lad already has a Premier League record. No jokes. In the Premier League game against Bournemouth, Doku ran the show, scoring one and assisting four. Well, guess what? Those four assists tied the record for most assists provided in a single Premier League game. And doing that at 21 years, 161 days old, made him the youngest player to provide four assists in a single Premier League game. Now, this is something many people don't know and most might not believe about Jeremy Doku. He is actually an arrogant lad. People who know him personally have called him arrogant from his days as a youth player because he loves to beat his man, wait for him to recover, and then beat him again. That's just way too cocky for many people. But that's not the only reason he's called arrogant, it's also the things he says. In 2021, he declared himself the best dribbler in Liga 1 which was a very bold statement considering the likes of Mbappe and Neymar were both plying their trades in the league at the time. To be fair to him though, he did sort of back up his talk. In May 2021, he completed 12 dribbles in a league game against Bordeaux to break Neymar's record for most dribbles completed in a single match in Liga 1 history. I mean, if you're going to talk tough, the least you can do is back it up. And considering how good a dribbler he is, his idols are actually not very surprising. Jeremy Doku has identified his footballing idols as Eden Hazard, Lionel Messi and Ronaldinho. He really did learn from the best, didn't he? Now, those are 10 things you didn't know about Jeremy Doku. But here's a little bonus for you guys, you know, just because we love you. Jeremy Doku's trademark celebration is a dance called The Gritty. It was created by a high school American footballer named Alan Davis in 2018 and popularized by NFL star Justin Jefferson. The dance has since been exported into football with the likes of Christian Pulisic, Moise Keane, Rafael Leao and Jesse Lingard having celebrated goals with the dance at one point or another. But Doku seems to have taken the dance and owned it, so get ready to see the gritty pretty often because the Belgian flash doesn't seem like he's ready to stop scoring. And how many goals do you think that Doku will end up getting in his first season at City? 10? 15? 20? Drop your predictions in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Also, turn on the bell notification so that you never miss out on new content. Catch you in the next one. Bye!